to make a quick video of how to reset the pulley on a weed whacker Ryobi full crank two cycle what we're gonna do is remove the screws uh, actually what I did is I already fixed this but I just wanted to enlighten everyone how to do this uh, there's four screws you got to remove one two three and four then this comes off my T here's the uh, four screws and so what's what happened is I'm gonna take it off real quick this lost its compression so the string was all wobbly like so here's the coil that wraps around it what had happened is this came off the coil like that so the way you put it on it has a little groove you put it into there to the little notch just like so <laughs> so hard doing it single-handedly just want to roll that back in put that like that so there it is just like this now what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate this bottom piece one full turn hold it with the screwdriver and place it in place in that little notch right there so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right so here we are so we're gonna put this in place right in here just like so pull our string in give this bottom piece one full turn hold it down so it doesn't slip out turn it again and again all right now what you want to do is just put it on the other end of the rope put your screwdriver in just to hold everything in place All right, and try to slide everything down there and then fit it into the little notch. Get the string out the way. There it is. All right, there it is. Secured. You can see it lodged in its place there. Now, it has the tension it needs. So that's how you reset the pulley on a weed whacker when it gives away. I mentioned when I took this off, there's a screw that holds everything in place that goes in there. It's the little star. I don't know what kind of size that is. What kind of screw head it is. Uh, it's the star kind. So you want to just screw this bolt all the way down and then we're going to replace our cap back into where it belongs. I, I think they might be called hex screws. I'm not too sure but anyways once you got that screw locked into place what you're gonna simply do is just come in here and just line up your holes should be little little nipples right there that indicate where it slides into place so you just make sure you put those all in place everything should close perfectly there it is now what you want to do is just put in your four screws one two three and four so these small ones go up on top and these bigger ones go at the bottom so I'll go ahead and put these screws on and we'll secure everything and we'll be ready to rock and roll okay so this should take four screws one two three four and actually five that section is broken <laughs> so we're still gonna make this work though don't worry about that so due to the new discoveries I just made that screw that was right here did not belong down there it actually belonged down here uh, so in all reality it's missing one of these upper screws down here 
and it's missing one of these lower screws down here because there's no base for it to screw onto but there everything is locked in place everything is secured so now let's give it a try all right so we're gonna prime it first choke it give it some gas give it a half Well, it just turned off. But the part I fixed is working. Fantastic. And I have to do the same process. That's how you fix that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.